Good morning and welcome to Zion Dew. My name is Grace Misili. I have the privilege and the pleasure of sharing the word of God with you today. For this is the day the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Now today we are going to be talking about the Holy Spirit and revelation. A simple divination of revelation is the act of making known that which was not known, that which was previously hidden, or that which was previously a secret. Concerning the Holy Spirit, the first mention of the Holy Spirit is in the first book of the Bible, the first chapter of Genesis. When you look at the first chapter, verse 2, we find the Holy Spirit hovering over the waters. The first chapter, verse 26 of the first book of the Bible, that is Genesis, we find God is saying, let us make man in our own image. That's our own image. The out there is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And thereafter, the Holy Spirit is found in every book of the Bible. But today, we are going to be talking about just two levels of revelation. There are not two levels in the, in the Bible as such, but for the purposes of our discussion today, we'll be talking about the two levels, which means level one being where the Holy Spirit, Spirit revealed to the people who wrote the Bible what they were going to write. He inspired them. And then now level two is where the Holy Spirit is revealing that revelation to us as believers, as readers. Was the Holy Spirit involved in the writing of the Bible? I choose to say yes. I choose to say yes because when you look at someone like David when he's, he's writing Psalms, he's not just writing what he's thinking or from his thoughts. It's not what he's feeling. He is writing by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the direction of the Holy Spirit. To support this, I read Mark 12, 36. And I read, David himself speaking by the Holy Spirit declared the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until, you, until I put your enemies under your feet. Another scripture which will confirm this is Acts 1.16. Brothers and sisters, the scripture are to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judas. Now from here, we can actually say and we are seeing that King David did not just write what was in his mind. He could not have thought of, you know, like uh, he could not, using his mental calculation, there's no way he would have seen like 28 generations ahead of him. It had to be empowered. He had to be empowered by the Holy Spirit, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit also, he gives us the ability to understand that revelation. Us as readers of that Bible and us believers. Because the Bible is not just like another book. The contents of the Bible are spiritual, which means it's not just everyone who can understand the contents of the Bible. You need to be having the Spirit of God inside you. The Holy Spirit revealed that, that, that content of the Bible to the authors, to the writers, and in the same way, he reveals that to us. He causes us to understand, because using our, our mind only, we are not able to understand. I'm reading Second Peter 3.16. He, referring to Paul, writes the same way in, in all his letters. Speaking in them of this matter, his letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort, as they do other scriptures. Now, what, 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 what is happening here is just telling us how hard, is, how hard it is to understand with our bare mind. Because the concepts of the Bible, they are not easy to understand with our mind. With head knowledge, it's not easy to understand. What is calling ignorant and unstable people are people without the Spirit of God. So they will not understand minor without the Holy Spirit. And what they do, they take it as knowledge, just as information. They twist it to, to favor them, to, to suit their needs. And by doing that, they ruin themselves. Jesus explaining this, he gave a parable, a parable of the sower. A parable, this farmer who was, carrying, who was scattering his seed. Some seed fell on, on, on the footpath. 
and the birds ate them. Some other seeds, they fell on the rock. There wasn't enough soil. Some other seeds, they, f they fell on the thorns and they were choked. But there are those seeds which fell on the good soil and there was crop harvest, 30, 60, 100 fold. Now, the footpath is the wrong place to, for anything because here there's no understanding. Here there's only facts, there's knowledge. Now, the footpath is the mind. The spirit is the soil. You cannot understand the word of God without the Holy Spirit. The word of God is the material that the Holy Spirit uses to build us. The mental capacity is not adequate for you to, to, to have every benefit and the full benefit of the word. You need for the full benefit, you need the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit reveals to you. With your, head, with your head, you just receive knowledge, you just receive information. Information will not change you. Information will not transform you. What transforms you is the, trans, is the revelation which you, are, which you are given by the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 2.14, the person without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit or the spirit of God, but consider them foolish and cannot understand them because they are designed only through the spirit. So the things of the spirit and the Bible is a spiritual, a spiritual content can only be designed by through the spirit. And as, as I finish, I, as I conclude, I want to encourage you just to thank God. Thank God that his, his word is fully inspired of him. We cannot live a godly life. We cannot serve the Lord adequately if we don't understand his word. But thank God, the Holy Spirit, one of the work of the Holy Spirit, one of the things that the Holy Spirit does is to take that word, reveal it to us, interpret it to us, and break it into pieces which our spirit can absorb. Because we need that word, not in our mind, in our spirit. We need the word in our spirit. I'm reading from John 14, 26. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, who the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all the things I have said to you. So my prayer for you today, even as I conclude, may the Holy Spirit teach you that is the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit just reveal to you the word of God and bring to your remembrance. Bring that word which you've read, which you've heard. Bring it to you so that you meditate on it. That you'll be like the, the man in Psalms 1, meditating on the word of God day and night. And that way you will be, be blessed. Please, do not miss out on the source of your blessing. Shalom. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you because that word is revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, because that word we meditate as we meditate on it day and night. We are blessed of you. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.